good morning happy vlogmas day three welcome back to the channel and if you haven't been here before thanks for stopping by my name is patricia and that over there is bogey and we live full-time in a road truck class b rv van uh, it is a 190 popular 2009 we have been living in the van since, I don't know, oh, I do know, September 11th. And the first three weeks we spent in Florida, where we are from, well, I'm not from there technically, but where I was from for the last 14 years, 13 years. And um, we headed to the North Georgia mountains. Um, I was, done with Florida and I was looking for my four seasons and some different type of weather and I'm from up north New York so with our finances this is as far as we could get you know so here we are I'm making do and I'm figuring it out and um yeah, so this is day three of Vlogmas. I'm still in my pajamas. I fixed the bed. I fed Bogey. I have to get dressed. I put my contacts in. I brushed my teeth. So getting dressed, walking Bogey, and making some coffee would be ideal. And I just wanted to say good morning. I wear a scarf to bed now because I find that when it's cold out, it hasn't hasn't been cold the last two nights but the very last night of the three nights that was super cold I threw a scarf on and it made all the difference uh, it's weird but you know you have the covers on and your neck is sticking out a little and you're a little cold so put the scarf on and I'm no longer cold um, yeah that's it I mean if yeah I do have a heater it's a it's run by propane and it's a furnace it's part of the RV but I don't want to run that all the time and it seems like when it's super cold out once the furnace stops it gets really cold in here again and then the furnace starts again and so on and so forth so hence the scarf wearing with the pajamas all right guys we will check in in a little while this is our potty view. It's gray out. It's going to start rain. Well, it says it's going to start raining soon. We are walking the kids so he can go to the bathroom. Gas has gone up. It's been at like 250, 55. I don't know. I was getting like $2.45 from this Murphy USA. There's Fortuna. I don't have my mic on. Uh, hi. <laughs> so I'm dressed, ready for the day. Put my little rain jacket back on because it's probably, like I said, it's gonna rain. Uh, last night after laundry, I finally got the video downloaded not too soon after I said goodbye to you guys. And then I um, went and got Wendy's because I really wanted some chili with cheese. Then we went to the thrift store and I got two jeans. Hold on, he's going to the bathroom. Dog poop. Oh. 
Oh, so what I was saying yesterday, or what I was saying before was that. I don't know if I could do this with one hand. Okay, hold on. Uh. All right, so what I was trying to say was we went to Wendy's. I got chili with cheese. Bogey got a uh, six piece nuggets, chicken nuggets. Um, then I went over to the thrift store because I'm still needing, in past videos, I've mentioned that I've lost weight. And I'm still needing jeans that actually fit. I'm still wearing my like size tens. And but you know, they're too big and I have to like put the belts to hold them up all the way. And they don't look bad, they look cute, but they're still like uncomfortable. Cause they get slouchy when you're moving around a lot which I do at work. So I have two pairs, a black pair. They're not really, they're kind of jeans, but not jeans. Maybe they're like a cargo, but they don't have a cargo pocket, but they're that kind of material uh, in black. And then I have a regular jean that is a uh, skinny jean that I found, I can't remember the brand, which was, you know, a few weeks ago. And then to last yesterday, I found a pair of bandolinos that look like they're not bootleg, but not skinny, standard leg, I don't know. And I got these Liverpool jeans. They're really good quality, they're gray. They're like, well, I have them on, they're gray. And you could feel how like nice they are. <laughs> and so, hence why I'm wearing this sweater today because it's got the gray and it matches the jeans. And the sweater has roses and my boots have roses. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like bending down to get a better picture there. But um, yeah. So, that was yesterday. Then I had to, like, take a breather and just relax. And I had, like, a headache that was going on pretty much most of the day, but I didn't have any Advil. So I went to this, like, discount store uh, where I just wanted to hang out and park and stay there. So I went in and I got the Advil and then took a nap. Well, I put away all my clothes, then took a nap. Oh my God. And then in that thrift store, I also found, sorry, back to the thrift store. I had, I had saw a mock turtleneck and I used to love mock turtlenecks. I don't like regular turtlenecks, but you know, living in Florida, I don't have any of that type of clothing. Uh, but when I was living in New York, that was my favorite type of cold weather sweater, a mock turtleneck. And, you know, like the sweater kind, not... I had the regular, like, mock turtleneck that you would put under clothing or under sweaters. But I, I like the sweater ones. And I always loved this black one that I had. And... I had that picture in my head this week because I would, when I had gone through Walmart, they had like mock turtlenecks, but I was like, no, I'm not going to do that right now. And in this thrift store, I found a mock turtleneck and, you know, like a nice brand. I'm not sure where I put it. I was gonna wear it today, but since I wore black for all my videos <laughs> the last few days, but here it is. Mock turtleneck, size medium. I used to be an extra large and then I was a large and now I'm a medium. And it's this Italian company and you could tell like the, the 
tag is vintagey looking and it's really like it feels so nice so I know there's another really like there's another cold day coming next week it looks like so I don't know, I'll save for that day or I can still wear it now but Anyway, I'm going to clean up my dishes. I need to make coffee. I still don't know what I'm doing today. Oh, last night I ran into, since I'm at Walmart, I ran into Walmart, got the last few little things I needed for potentially the week. And uh, so I wanted to have today as a day that I'm not like doing anything because the last two days I feel were a little overwhelming for me with the brake lights and the doing all that stuff and thank god potentially somebody helping me not potentially but somebody helping me that i didn't know was gonna be a thing and it was and but still the stress of having to go through it and then yesterday with i don't know i think the rain rainy day i like rainy days I like all weather, but the running around and getting the tires done and laundry and all that, including the weather, because, you know, it's a little stressful, a little bit, and making sure you're driving safe and other people around you are driving safe. And so made me really tired. Well, anyway, I wanted today for, to do nothing, even though I do have to make bogey's food. And, um, but I have most of the vegetables cut up. I have to cut up the meat and then just cook. But that's all I have to like have to do today and drink coffee. So I'm going to do that and figure out what to do today because it hasn't started raining yet. But as you saw outside, it's overcast and all that. Uh, I don't know. All right. Vlogmas day three. Woohoo! Hello. I am cutting chicken gizzards into smaller pieces so they cook better. So a few days ago I mentioned I had there's few videos ago. Maybe the first Vlogmas video. I said I had to make bogey's food. And when I did make the food, I had two packages of chicken chicken gizzards and one of the packages weren't good anymore so I only had the one package so essentially two packages and then the veggies and stuff that I cut up sweet potatoes or rice whatever I had bulks it up a little bit and lasts me like three three and a half days so what I had made the other day only lasted me two or one and a half or I don't know it just didn't last uh so i'm making that now if you don't like meat cover your eyes that's the chicken gizzards that i'm cutting up yeah i'd bring you down lower but apparently in this position where you're at you're in a cabinet the video is downloading and it's got all five bars the vlog missed day two and even though it says five hours, if I put it anywhere else in the van, like in the front or on the counter, it's like 36 hours or something crazy. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I could go somewhere with... I'm still at Walmart. I could go in there and walk around, but I don't want to. I don't want to go. I don't want to go inside. Uh, they have a what do you call it? Starbucks here, but in the when I looked online for free Wi-Fi near me, the comment for that Starbucks was they have terrible Wi-Fi. So. Yeah. I don't know. 
I'll see how it goes. If I can even get it halfway like done and then go somewhere where there is Wi-Fi so the rest of it can go faster. I was just trying to figure out what to do with my time and wasting time trying to figure out what to do with my time and then realized I gave Bogey the last of his food this morning so I have to go ahead and cook this and I want to get this out of the way. I don't want to delay it and say I'll make it closer to his, you know, meal time and then I'm pressed for time. It's supposed to rain, but really hasn't rained. I mean, it's sprinkled for like five seconds. Uh, it's still cloudy and overcast. I wanna go out to this boat launch that's farther away, but I also told myself that I wanted to stay nearby until <clears throat> I get the rotors resurfaced. So in my last video, I had brought the van to the mechanic again, and he took it for a longer drive. And he realized that I had quite the shake, you know, just in general going on a normal town downhill you know, nothing crazy, but he went down a hill, not a mountain, a hill. And as you know, he was braking and the van was shaking. And so he thinks that that obviously the rotors being warped isn't horrible, but I guess mines maybe are a little bit more warped than they should be. He had mentioned doing that at first, a while ago, when this happened originally, when I brought it the first time. And then I don't know why we never revisited it, but then I had the crunch going on and I felt like the crunch seemed similar to the, the calipers when the caliper was bad, but also seemed different. So he says that's coming from the, the rotors. So his resolution is to, I really should just send you to the other video to watch it, but like other YouTubers do, go watch the other video. Uh, no, anyway, the resolution is to, for him, he feels that if he resurfaces them to even them out, that that should solve a lot of issues. He doesn't want to like replace them, he said, because the brakes and the brake pads and all that are in really good condition. And he finds that the rotors are, you know, visibly in good condition, but you know, so that's what he wants to do. And so that's not till next Thursday. So I said to myself that I didn't want to go very far, but I'm so bored, like, going to the places that I do go. And when I work, I go to the same park every day just because I know what to expect and because I have a reactive dog to other dogs since that boat launch is right, right on the outside of the town. It seems like just actually fisher pe fishermen go and once in a while you'll see somebody bring a dog They've mostly been on leash. Only one time did I see one guy didn't have his dog on a leash, but we were inside the van, so that wasn't really a problem at the moment. But I just need to be careful, and I feel like that park, I can relax. Still, obviously, pay attention, but I, I can throw the ball there. Or there's a corner. We throw the ball, he can chase it. I leave his leash on, so in case I gotta grab it. But it's far away from the parking lot enough that I can see people coming in and out. And as soon as somebody rolls in, I literally don't take my eyes off of their vehicle until I see them all come out. And if they come out with a dog, what my next move is gonna be. Uh, so, and that boat launch doesn't have great uh, 
internet service there. It's okay, but not good enough for downloading a video. So I'm hesitant. There's a park that's in there's a park over here. This is the opposite Walmart that I sleep at. Opposite town, let's say. And it's funny I'm talking with a knife. What was I saying? Oh, there's a park over here, but that's spotty too. That's a um a golf disc park. Disc golf. Disc golf. Ever played disc golf? I had a boyfriend who liked disc golf. I always tried to like, you know, blend and like the things they liked, but I would find a way around it. Like, okay, you're gonna play disc golf. I'm gonna read while you play. And that way we were still in the same sp sort of space, but I think eventually I stopped doing that because I'm really not into disc golf. Anyone into disc golf? It seems like, you know, it could be fun, but I'm just not sporty and I don't feel like walking from one whatever to the other. Okay, I see I'm off topic here. There's a disc golf park that also has a trail that you can walk the dog and there's inside the disc golf park, there's uh, a fenced in area for dogs that nobody really uses. I didn't bring bogey in there. I usually walk them. It's big enough that you can stay spaced out from other dog walkers. Um, and in another video, I there's footage from, from that park there. But the point of all saying all that was that park doesn't have great internet. So I want I do want to walk him and I hope the rain still holds up. I want to bring him over to that park and hopefully by the time I cook this and all that, the video is doing its thing or close to it. Uh, yeah, so I had my coffee. I cleaned up from that. I vacuumed. A little, well, as best I can with the vacuum that I have. And that's it. I go to work tomorrow. See, now, on the days that I work, as long as I have the video prepared before I walk in, I can start the process before I walk into the store. And then once I walk in the store, the phone will pick up the Wi-Fi and, you know, before I know it, it'll be downloaded using the store's Wi-Fi. So... I don't know. I gotta find a happy medium for my off days when I could download the video. And then I was thinking that I wonder if getting one of those Wi Fi booster thingies, which I wanted to get, it's on my list, but it's not, you know, something I need, need at the moment. Well, now at the moment, if it's helpful to downloading videos, then yeah, I kind of do need it. But I'd have to go to Verizon and see. But again, watching my pennies and all that for the moment. So that's that. Yeah, so this is got just a tiny bit more. If you don't, if you're squeamish around me, close your eyes. We're uh, got a little pile going there. You can open your eyes now. And yeah, I kind of, I'll do chicken gizzards. I'll do ground turkey or ground ground turkey, chicken and lamb once one time. I was lucky enough to find lamb. That was at Aldi's. Uh, so sometimes I would just want to feed them kibble. This is just one more 
thing I have to do. But I want a healthy pup who's going to be with me as long as he can be. And I want a pup that maybe won't go through, you know, some type of health issue that could be contributed to the food or the lack of nutrients or nutrition that he didn't get through the kibble, whatever, the processed dog food. I like that he's thinned out and that's going to help him because he's going to be, he's eight. He'll be eight. He was born sometime in December. I don't know, like when I bring it, when I do the math, it's sometime in December he was born. And I was born in December, December 17th. So he'll be eight one of these days this month. <laughs> so I want to do my best to keep him healthy. Ugh, so gross. All right. Uh, did, uh, what else can I tell you guys? I'll think of something. All right, I'm going to clean up my gizzard hand. One hand was a knife, the other hand is gizzard, touching gizzards, and get that going, cooked, so it could cool off, so I could put it away. Then I'll probably be hungry, because I haven't eaten anything. I just had my coffee, which is usually how it goes. I have my coffee in the morning, and on work days, I won't eat until like 3 o'clock, 3, 3.30, which is the time I'll take my lunch. Just because I'm not hungry in the morning, and by the time I go in at noon, I'm still not hungry. And on the occasions that I'm kind of like peckish, I'll have a few slices of cheese or something like that, and that's fine. I'm so lazy with the cooking. I just don't want to. I'll do it for bogey. Today I'm probably gonna, I have frozen shrimp and I have the little goddess Caesar salad, the individual package. So I'll probably do that, you know, shrimp on top of the Caesar salad. <clears throat> so it's simple, just sauteing some shrimp that are already cooked. Is this just how it is when you get older? You don't feel like effing cooking anymore? I'm so dying for something good to eat. And I can't really peruse the, one of these days I'll hopefully be able to treat myself to some nice dinners or lunches, wherever. But for the most part, I have to cook in-house, eat in-house, and that's fine. I'm okay with that. But every now and then I crave like to eat out, out, not just a Wendy's chili with cheese, although very satisfying to, to satisfy that I ate something out feeling. Alrighty guys, I will check in with you later. I'm going to check on my video, cook this up and, uh, see you in a few. Hey guys. So we moved on to cooking the food. There's a, oh well, let me just show you. We've got the chicken gizzards all cut up in there. There is sweet potato, zucchini. Usually I have um, celery to put in there, but didn't have any. So it's zucchini, carrots, sweet potato, and the chicken gizzards. We are snacking on some queso fresco. This is my favorite uh, kombucha to get in a store. The ginger aid, it's so delicious. It's like a lemonade, a bubbly lemonade or like a lemonade soda. But same time you, you taste the ginger. And that is puppy dog. Look how cute.
You just so handsome. Look at you. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna continue cooking here. Oh, let me cover this so it'll cook faster and not be dry. And yeah, that's the last ha thing I have to do other than getting the video downloaded. And it's doing that as we speak. So I, I would check in, see where I go, what I do. I think it's about noon time. It did finally start raining. But talk to you guys in a bit. Hi guys. I just finished, uh, well not, didn't just finish, but I did. Um, I finished Bogey's food. I packed it away in these Tupperwares. And I was thinking about leaving the Wally Mart. I still don't know where I'm going to go. But then I felt like I hadn't eaten anything, and then that would just like be annoying to me, knowing that I hadn't eaten anything and subconsciously create some sort of hunger, which, you know, happens with me. I don't know if that happens with you. The more you think about not eating, or that you didn't eat, and even though you're not hungry, then it makes you feel hungry or think you're hungry. So, I was trying to figure out what to make because I'm not hungry. But I need, I don't need to eat something. I just, I don't feel like you need to eat if you're not hungry. Um, so, but I made any, something anyway. So I don't know if you saw the Thanksgiving episode where I had bought the packaged mashed potatoes from Aldi's. So, I went ahead and made those and these are giving me high school vibes in high school my favorite food was when they made the even though I don't have any cheddar cheese on me but they were like cheesy mashed potatoes and they were like cheesy and buttery and this consistency is like what I would have in school and in school, this was like the, this was the 80s. And I don't know, I don't know if the, school, the food was bad or not, but I really didn't eat anything other than when they had the cheesy mashed potatoes. I think I mostly would buy like a, a sandwich. They had a good selection of stuff that you could eat, like have a hot lunch or a cold lunch but the cheesy mashed potatoes. Sometimes I'd buy two of the little bowls. I can't believe it. Like I'm eating this and I'm sitting in my classroom and uh, not my classroom, in the lunchroom. I could see the lunchroom. I could visualize where the exits are. I could see the window out into the parking lot. I could see like the busyness of it. It's crazy, like when you smell something or eat something and you're literally there. I'm literally there. So, high school was, I don't know that if I was present or not. I don't even know if I knew how to be present. I don't think I knew how to be present until maybe a few months ago. Let me know if that makes sense to you. Um, high school wasn't bad for me. I had friends. I didn't do well in the classes. And I still wonder at this point if I didn't, if maybe I had some sort of ADD or ADHD. I mean, I'm not, I feel like I was intelligent enough, but I didn't have the focus at all. And I don't know how they got me through high school because I hardly passed any of the tests 
I didn't do any homework. And I don't know, you know, your parents ask you if you did your homework and you're like, yeah. They never checked, so. I don't know. But I mean, I, I didn't like not pass any of the tests or quizzes, I've, but for the most part, I did not do well. I know I didn't study. I barely did homework. The only class I did well in was in the Spanish classes, which I took four years of because that was already in me as far as understanding the actual language. But, um, points being, I did graduate. I graduated and a few months before graduation, my mom was like, so what are you gonna do after graduation? And I'm like, what? She's like, are you gonna go to college? Are you this, I'm like, you're just bringing this to my attention now? I, I should have planned something. Like, I feel like I was in the, I was in a bubble they put clothes and food in the bubble and that was it. I like no knowledge went in the bubble of uh, life knowledge. And but I think I panicked. Like I was like, wait, I have to do something when I get out of school. Like I was already had a little job. Like I, I don't know if anybody remembers Caldors, but I was already working at Caldors and I'd been there for a little bit. As far as a teenager goes, I'd been there for like a year and change. But I didn't know I was supposed to like life plan. So my mom asked, well, what, what do you want? What do you like? What do you want to do? What do you, I'm like, you're just literally asking me these things now, seriously. And so the only thing I could think of that I wanted to do was travel. And we had gone to Puerto Rico like a lot because that's where our family was, where her family, a lot of her family. So I, I liked that experience of getting on the airplane and when we got there, we would go places and see things and do things and go to the hotel. We didn't stay at hotels, we stayed at family. But we'd go visit hotels and it was just really fun. And my um, godmother, she was, I think she owned the travel agency that we would visit her at. Or she managed it. But that's when they had travel agencies like brick and mortar that you can walk in. And we would walk into her travel agency. He was right in where my godmother's little neighborhood was. And I'd look around and I'd look at her, you know, watch answering the phones and using the computer to put the flights in. And I always remembered that was, that was cool. So, I don't know if it was me or my mom who found the Pan, the Pan American School of Travel in New York City and it was it was like a little trade school it was maybe four months long and that training would get you into a travel agency or a airline so before I even graduated I already had a job with TWA I had already interviewed with them. I already had a position. As soon as I graduated, I'd be training with them. And the Pan American School, I don't know if I said this already, it was in New York City. We lived in Middletown, New York, which is probably 90 minutes outside of the city. And, you know, we already figured out I'd either commute by car or take the train or the bus. So 
I barely even remember that school and the people and what I meant by like living in the like not living in the present I wish I would have tried to be in the moment and experience all the things that I experienced because looking back did I have fun I'm not really sure I didn't hate it but I didn't even know that I loved it um but what I do remember of that school, I made a few friends. Uh, I made two two friends that would invite me to their homes, so I didn't always have to go back and forth upstate, which was nice. So uh, bad weather, winter, stuff like that, I always had an invitation to come stay, and that was nice. Um, this story can go really long. I don't know how far to go, but my first year commuting into the city, I I worked for, I think the TWA for like a year and a month, a year and two months, and I was recruited by a travel agency on the phone. And the TWA reservations, I didn't have to work at the airport because it's a reservations, uh, they were in the city across the street from the Pan American School of Travel. This was on Two Pen Plaza, if you're familiar, uh, right, right on top of Madison Square Garden, on the eleventh floor. I don't know if they're still there yet, there anymore. Oh no, obviously they're not. There is no TWA uh, anymore. But that was a stupid thing to say. Uh, but I don't know, that, that was my first real, I guess, real job and it was fun and uh, then I went into the travel agency and that was like a nine to five and again, they were across the street. Everything was like right there. So it was a little mom and pop travel agency. Um, the owner was German. German background, but like German New York, you know, like gruff and he'd share his liverwurst sandwiches with me. And I still, to this day, I, re I recall those liverwurst sandwiches the other day and I haven't had liverwurst in a really long time. And obviously I would want boar's head and the really good kind. And I don't even know around here where would I find it. Mm, probably Engels. They have a lot of Engels around here and I haven't been in that store yet. Let me not get too far off the subject. So I worked for them for a good, I don't know, three, four years before realizing that my income wasn't going to allow me to travel as much as I wanted to. Not hardly at all with the travel agency with TWA I was able to take a few flight I took a took a plane to went to Puerto Rico I went to Texas I think two different times to visit like the boyfriend's family oh and then Las Vegas was it Las Vegas no yes no no Definitely Texas, definitely Puerto Rico. I feel like there's one more trip in there and I would fly first class for $50 each way. No matter where it was, that was the price. $50 each way. So I got to fly first class a million years ago. Um, and then with the travel agency, like, I guess I didn't have the mentality of how to be an entrepreneur and I just saw that I'm like there's no way I'm gonna like get any where here and maybe I should have looked for a bigger like like a tour company or something like that I just didn't know and we didn't have the internet to like give you these ideas or expand your your thinking so my thinking was very limited. So I ended up 
taking a course for paralegal and I ended up working at a law firm, not as a paralegal. I ended up doing a reception, like reception relief and working in their file room and then I got what do you, uh, a promotion to work in their accounting department, which I wasn't, I had no knowledge of and they trained me and I guess they were super happy because I worked that specific type of position for 12 years after that. And that was all living in the city. And that's the story of my, I don't even know how we got here, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes and living in a bubble for parents that they're they had limited knowledge as well of what to do and how to, you know, move your child forward in the world. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here because that was a definite story time. Get to know me. And I didn't even know I had that in me. So thank you for listening. This has been my day. It's kind of like I told you, it's been raining, raining on and off. It's gray out. I'm still trying to figure out what to do here from the Walmart parking lot. Still waiting for my video to upload. Tomorrow's work. Tonight I will stay at the restaurant parking lot. But in the meantime, if you made it this far, Thank you. Thank you for so much for hanging out and listening to my shenanigans. Me and Bogey are super grateful. Have a great day.